In this video, I'm going to share with you some of the very useful plugins that are helpful for typographer or anything about text in Figma. So if you are writing text or you are trying to make uh, typography scales or anything we are going to see uh, in this video. So let's dig, dig in and see some of the plugins that I really enjoy using in Figma to help me build my typography and text styling. So let's get started. So here we have some of the text over here and uh, you can see over here. So uh, first thing is a spell checker. So let's try to change the spelling of few words over here uh, and I'm going to put double O over here. Let's zoom in so you can see properly. So what is the bestie sponsor that you are having? So, <laughs> so let's uh, again use the same shortcut key control or command forward slash and uh, we are going to type this spell checker and you can see over here this is a really neat little neat tool and it's going to show me that we have two issues so if I click on here it shows best I'm going to replace it click over here sponsor so this is really really nice tool I really love it spell checker so let's go to few more um, type tools and uh, so uh, the problem with uh, type tool is that most of the lorem ipsum plugins they normally have english or something like that or latin kind of words but i'm going to share with you one plugin that is really really nice so we are going to have lorem lorem plus so i really really enjoy this so the beauty of this uh, uh, plugin is that it supports right to left a lot of languages Far uh, farsi is basically persian arabic english spanish italian and silly i'm not sure what is silly uh, so first let's try farsi and uh, i'm going to use words uh, and you can see it also shows in both languages word or kalima kalma so it means words actually in arabic and also in farsi i think for arabic it's also kalama so uh, in farsi or persian we are going to generate like 10 words over here and let's click on this add new word uh, node with so you can see here we have 10 words in farsi so i can also uh, select another typeface i have this is simplified arabic and this is looking really really nice so this is a tool um, which i i really enjoyed i really enjoyed this one so this is another one i can also click on apply on selected note it is going to change the text for this one this is arabic and if i try to switch to english uh, it is again going to do the same to the selected note selected note means the text layer you have selected right now so this is a really nice tool so you can also uh, use paragraphs or characters or whatever you want to for example italian i want 10 characters so this is italian with 10 characters so this is a really nice lorem plus uh, one another one is lorem ipsum i think lorem ipsum this one and uh, this is another one i think this is a very simple simple way to uh, use words or sentences it is going to generate something like that. I, I really don't like um, any text that is started with lorem ipsum because it just, you know, uh, brings anxiety to my designer senses. I, I really don't like this. So lorem plus is the best option. Uh, then we have one more tool that is, I think, a lowercase. It just shifts the whole text to the lowercase. Okay, so the best way whenever you are trying to, um, you know, uh, run a command or a plugin, the best way is again the same shortcut control command forward slash. You have to learn it uh, because it is very, very helpful shortcut. So this is lowercase and uh, let's get to more useful plugins. That is type scales. So this is this is a really nice one. So you can see over here, I selected a, a layer which is going to be my base size. So you can see it says base size 12. So this Cameron 
William's son is actually the size of 12. You can see on the right. And uh, again, we have different scales. So these scales are based on um, music, golden ratio, perfect fourth. I have taught a lot about this, these scales in my class about typography. You can access that uh, on my website, learnuxid.com. And uh, let's select this perfect fourth. Line height, I am going to go with one point. Let's uh, try one point. 1.24 let's try this one and uh, then it says that scales on the upper side bigger smaller to bigger and uh, normal to smaller so we have uh, I think our base typeface is 12 this one so we have 12 16 21 so maybe we need a bit bigger over here and on the bottom we might need just one so I'm going to generate and it created a separate frame with my whole type scale. This is one of the best plugins for generating type scale. And you can use uh, this for your heading, this for mega heading, uh, this one for your heading two, this one for your heading three, uh, and so on and so forth. Now, the last plugin I would discuss over here is actually called type styles. So what it does, it is actually create uh, different type styles. You have created already, you have created uh, this and uh, you can see we don't have any styles over here. So what I'm going to do is I am going to select this frame or I am going to select uh, shift click all these. Let's uh, select this one. Okay, so we have this one this one then control and shift I'm going to hold control and shift to select all these so I have selected all these my new course is actually coming about design system so we will be doing all that in that that one too so control and backslash and we are going to type styles this one so this is another tool this is another plugin really really nice plugin so what I'm going to do is it says that select a modifier and it, here it says rename layers or make type styles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on font family. So first it is going to show the font family, then font size and then font weight like this. Uh, so you can see this is how it shows and I can, I can also, uh, custom add some custom text over here let's move it custom text and I'm going to write something like um, headings or maybe just I'm going to write text over here so also you can uh, add this one at the start actually so let's click on make type styles and just created nine styles and if I go over here it shows uh, nine and it is actually the naming over here we have to adjust that but let's click on this and actually this one uh, this one was the type and this was on the frame so um, make sure you delete all that this this whole frame and then try to create this okay so it will be more cleaner but anyhow you can see over here we have different type styles over here and uh, you can you can also change them if you want to so it is actually layering them into uh, different sizes you can see over here 28 38 51 and here we have the whole type scale generated in text styles so this is these are all the different uh, typography plugins for Figma. If you are using Figma, I I mostly use uh, this one type scale a lot. Uh, so if I, if you want me to recommend something, I would definitely recommend type scales and type styles. Both of them are great plugins. And um, then another one spell checker is a very handy tool a very handy tool so if you 
must have these i think these three are the must type uh, spell checking type scales and type styles so these are the must have for any typography uh, person and one more one more one more i just remembered it this is the best better font picker so if you are a typo or typography junkie i would say or you are worried about your typography a lot like me i really love different typefaces and enjoy when something is really nicely built so try to click this better font style better font picker now the problem with figma or uh, even in adobe xd is that you cannot see what font or typeface style is so i am fira go i don't know how it look like fira code fira mono i am not sure how they look like so from here you can see uh, better font picker is a great tool if i move it over here you can see i can click on any layer for example like this one and i can click on the uh, text sorry the typeface and it will shift to that one so you can see abril text i can easily change them like this anchor and take uh, antonio you can see i have installed almost 1000 typefaces over here and i have bought a lot of them too so um let's select this one so you can see this is a very handy tool better font picker this is a must have better font picker spell checker type scales these three i think you must have these three in your figma so i hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new about typography and typography plugins for figma let's move on to the next lesson we will meet soon with a lot of new plugins a lot of new things uh, in figma uh make sure you like subscribe and share this video till then take care bye bye